cut the weights off an old cast net. I had a rotten log that used to be used in my shooting range as a backstop. That was a lot of log to go through. I ended up with a few bullets I'll put in the can, get it on the fire, and the uh, steel and copper jackets will float to the top. As well as what bits of wood are in there, they'll just turn to char and float on top of the lid. See the lid's already melting. And we've got some some green flames coming up out of the can. That's interesting. I guess because of the copper bullets. I have it ready to pour. Shake it around a little bit to make sure I get get all the lead out of the bullets. It's charged pretty good. Wasn't a great deal of lead, but a little more than I was expecting. You can see all the, uh, you can see all the jackets. I'll dump that out and show you here in a minute once it cools off. So here's what we got after dumping those old bullets out of the can. There are a few pieces of lead in here still, and I'll just drop those directly into the pot. They're fairly clean. I'll sort through this, but we got a bunch of hollow bullet jackets. So the reason I'm going to go ahead and melt these over the fire and then pour them into the pot is to keep most of the trash out of the pot. It's getting there. Alright, it looks like we're good to go. Down at the bottom of the can, that's the trash that was left over from the corrosion that was on those weights. That's what I didn't want to put into that melting pot. The pot's been going for about 20 minutes. The lead has melted, and it looks like we're ready to start pouring. I've got two different sinker molds. This one is to make pyramid sinkers. Which we have to use a brass eye in those and this one is a bank sinker mold so you don't need a brass eye these are easier to make you just for the fact you don't have to use the brass eye <clears throat> now, i've owned this one for several years uh, and i used to always use just a an old coffee can and melt the lead on a, on a fire and i always you know kind of bent the can so i'd have a spout to pour out of this will work but it's hard to keep consistent heat with a fire. And also as you pour, you tilt that can over, it's hard to get a consistent pour because the lead wants to kind of wave back and forth on the inside of the can as you're pouring. Now this uh, Lee melting pot, I brought it from my brother as well as this bank sinker mold. And uh, if you can do it, this, this Lee pot is really the way to go. It makes it so much easier to pour the weights so much easier to use, less mess. I've got a bag of number one brass eyes that will be used for the pyramid sinker mold. And I put them in with pliers. On the, on the first pour, while the mold is cold, you could put them in with your fingers, but as soon as you pour that first batch of sinkers, uh, 
the mold's going to be too hot, so it's best just to get used to uh, setting them in with pliers. Something you always have to keep in mind is to not touch any metal parts while you're doing this. And of course it would be smart to wear gloves, leather gloves, while you do this. But Sometimes I do stupid stuff. got a coffee can with water I'll be dropping the sinkers into it's just to cool them off so I can handle them a little faster you have to be really careful though uh, after you cut off the sprues you don't want to drop any water back into the pot as you're putting the sprues back into the pot if you do drop any water into the pot it'll kind of create a little explosion as the water turns to steam and uh, hot lead will come well, one ounce weight is the weight that I use the most of so usually that's all I, I pour another eye in there Okay. I got one that I didn't pour on. I'll just put that right back in the pot. So with the bank sinkers, it's easiest just to cut the sprue off and I'll set this aside and let them dry a little bit I don't want to put them back in the pot wet of course you could set these weights aside and just let them cool off on their own but uh, drop them in a bucket of water is just a way to make sure they're cool and you don't get burned just got to be careful about the water going back into the pot on these pyramid sinkers I like to just break the sprue off it's all pretty easy. It makes a neater. It looks a little cleaner too when you break them versus cutting them off.
with all the sprues removed I got another several ounces of lead to go back in the pot and make some more weights so when you're adding lead to the pot it's, you don't want to throw it in there because of course lead can splash out and that would be quite painful so you set it on a spoon lower in there a little bit at a time don't touch the spoon after you bring it back out because it will burn the crap out of you well that was a fun project these do-it molds are a great way to turn old lead into something useful. I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you on the next one.